Good afternoon. Today is February 1st, 2024. Um, I received a word from the Lord and finished writing this down at uh, 1225 this afternoon, Eastern Standard Time. Uh, he wants this titled, You're Coming Out. And as always, we are not to uh, take every word that we hear at face value. We're always to take it back to the Lord in our own personal prayer time. Take it back to him while we're meditating on his word. Um, and just ask him, you know, Lord, is this coming from you? And if it is coming from you, um, what specifically was for me? Was it all for me? Was part of it for me? And he will let you know. But I hear the spirit of grace all over this word, and I will leave it at that. This is what the Lord said. No more will you be a captive. No more will you be a slave to your sin. You will be a slave of righteousness, a bond servant. You will be mine. You will be my child. I will pull you out, out of your addictions, out of your misery and hopelessness. You're coming out, says the Lord. No longer will you be a slave of tormenting thoughts and of shame. You will no longer relive the painful memories of your past while awake or asleep, says the living God. You're coming out. You will no longer cry yourself to sleep at night wondering why nothing ever seems to go right in your life, wondering why everyone you ever loved is gone or leaves. You're coming out, says the Lord of hosts. You will no longer be robbed of your peace, your joy, your hope, and your sanity. You're coming out, my child, says the one who was and is and is to come. Your everlasting father. You will no longer cower in fear, afraid you'll say or do the wrong thing or allow yourself to be abused in that way again, says the Lord of Lords and King of Kings. You're coming out, all the way out, out of the world, out of unrest out of constant grief and despair, out of suicidal thoughts and feelings of self-worthlessness, out, out, out. Your suffering is coming to an end, says the Lord. I am the author and finisher of your faith. I am your father now. I am your protector, your defender, your provider, and the one who counsels you. Walk with me. I will remove the idols from your heart. I will take away the shame of your youth and you will remember it no more. The voices that tell you, you are nothing, you don't matter, no one cares, will be silenced and heard no more. I will comfort you as we walk together. I will reveal great and mighty things that you know not. I will show you the unseen dangers I kept you from when you knew me not and why I allowed some of the more traumatic things that have happened to you. You will know that I am for you. You will know my love for you is everlasting. I will reveal your purpose. I will reveal how I was behind the intercession of every attack on your life. I have preserved you and kept you from death for a time such as this. You will have a sound mind. You're coming out of mind battles and intrusive thoughts. I will show you the power in my name and you will never doubt me again. You will serve me with zeal and enthusiasm for I am the lover of your soul. I gave my life for yours to reconcile you back to me. Your sin caused a divide between us but now that I have you back home I will never let you go and no one will snatch you out of your father's hand. Treacherous times are ahead, but you can do all things through my son, Jesus Christ, who strengthens you. Those who have seen him have seen me. Those who reject him reject me. I have always existed from everlasting to everlasting. I am God and there is no other. Tell everyone what I will show you. Do not worry about what you will say. I will give you the words to speak to my people. Many will listen, but a multitude will not. Do not worry about their angry stares or their venomous words. Fear not, for you are mine, and I am coming back from my church. 
I will present you blameless before me, holy, unblemished, unstained by the world, robed in my righteousness, not because you are so good, but because of my covenant promise. I love you. I will see you soon, face to face. Tell everyone about me. Warn them of the judgment to come. Show them my unfailing love and compassion. Strengthen them with my words. Preach the gospel. Learn it well. Study my word. Teach in love. Gather the flock. Bring them to me. I will do the rest. I'm going to post all of the confirmations in the comments.